Good morning traders and this is your Aussie day trade setup for today. So starting off on the four hour chart, you can see we are kind of bottom of a range and uh, there's a range that we've been traveling in for the last uh, oh, couple of weeks, three weeks basically. So we are bottom of the range, we do have some magnets to the downside, we have all these big gaps to the downside and um, just working on the strategy we kind of are nowhere at the moment going backwards and forth above the moving averages here. So looking at the four hour, this is the bottom of the range, at the moment 10 cents up 2%, uh, NASDAQ yesterday flew uh, up half a percent, well 0.6%, um, and the rand dollar fourteen one nine fairly flat as yesterday, so I suspect we're going to get a gap, sort of a, a gap up and a travel to the upside. So the question at the moment is whether we are going to get one of the following thing scenarios happening. So the first one is sort of a retest of this breakout. You can see there's a couple of fractal breakouts here, or are we going to go back to the top of rank? Okay, now looking at the bigger picture with all the tails on the top, you would assume that we're going to have some kind of a pullback ready for another move to the downside. But I think for me, trade this as a range until this bottom breaks. Okay, so if we just look at the hour, and this is the one that we're basically going to be trading today. I'm just going to put a line in here. Because they're um, not exact, there's quite a few fractals in this area but that is the bottom or the breakout retest. Okay, um, looking at the strategy at the moment we have deviation from the moving averages, we have the crossover here of the oscillators and um, we've basically grouped in the downside below the negative 20 and oh, sorry negative 80 and then broken up above it. So at the moment this picture here, this pin bar with the confirmation, that is a confirmation of a turning point. Okay, so let's just get to look at this properly. Ignore this last bar here, that is nonsense data, this last bar here. So looking at the 12 minutes, we trend it down. So as I said to you yesterday, what we're looking for is a rejection of the um, moving averages. There was your rejection on the pin bar. I can even go down to a 5 minute and you'll find a rejection of um, not quite off the moving averages, this one was gap close and 200 moving average. Okay, but nevertheless you can see red, blue, light blue, red stays on top all the way through this. So the trend is down. Okay, so you could have taken a, a stab at it at gap close for your short stop above this fractal here. And realistically on a 5 minute chart that was 142 point risk and you're looking for gap close. And you got gap close. Okay, so not a massive trade, I think that was worth four hundred odd points. Okay. So for today, I think come back to the twelve minutes here. So the hour is indicating that we have a downtrend, but the bigger picture indicates we're in a range. Okay. So you need to use a bit of logic here. So First things first, there's a 40% probability that the range is going to play out. Okay, that's true for any double bottom or double top. There's always a 40% probability that it's going to play out. Okay, when you're already in a range, the probability is obviously a lot higher, but generally speaking, there is a 40% chance that the double bottom will play out. Here's a double bottom here. You can see there's a 40% chance it's going to play out. This one did play out. Okay, so We've had a cross over the moving averages. You can see we prices crossed over the moving averages and we're hovering in this area. I suspect we're going to get a gap up. So for me, it's gap up. Um, I wouldn't chase the gap at the pre market open, wait for the market open. There should be some kind of a consolidation. And then I'm assuming that we're going to head back the top of this range. Okay, so that's kind of the, the trade that, that I'm looking at at the moment. Uh, 10 cents being up 2% at the moment, so I think it's going to be pretty volatile. 
during the open session. Okay, so what we're looking for, let's use our fractals, and I just want to get the bottom of the range in, it's going to be around there. Okay, so those are the two levels we're looking at at the moment. So the first level is we're looking for a break above 51487, um, and then I would suspect there is a, no, there's no gap to the upside, but I would suspect we're probably going to head back to 52100 area. Okay. Uh, the trick with this is because we're in a range, you're probably better off looking at a five minute chart and trading a five minute chart. So, five minute chart trend is up, and you're going to stay with the trend so long as the moving averages are pointing in this direction. So, light blue, dark blue, and red pointing up like this, and you're going to first pull back, waiting for the pullback, and then you're getting back in on the on the trade. So that's my view for today. It's long, and it's long back the top of the range. Um, Ichimoku is going to give us nothing at the moment, but let's just open it just in case there's something there. Uh, and the reason I say it's going to give us nothing is because we range bound. Okay, 12 minutes, we've got a twist. And we've got an almost break, so it's bullish, um, bearish, bearish. But we are in a range, so I'm not going to read too much into that. 30 minutes, flat Kijinson, you can see Chikospan, oh, sorry, uh, Tikinson is rounding. Okay, so it's all uh, bearish signals, bottom of range, but this does look like a potential turn. Uh, same picture brewing on the hour. And look how far prices from Kijinson as well, you want, don't want to see that. Uh, four hour, that is bearish. Uh, that is a bit of a warning. So you can see we've got a, a death cross here. We're also through price here, which is also bearish. So I think, you know, just to be safe, you should do the following. So let me give you the logic here. So the first triangle was there. The second one was there, which has been sort of broken and retested with this bar here. Okay, so my next triangle is the next fractal, which is this one, which has been broken a few times. The bigger picture here is it does look like a flat top triangle. Okay, so overall looking a lot more bearish than bullish, but for today, I think we're going to get a pullback back into this area, and then we're going to have to wait and see. If we do get another break through this trend line, that should be interesting, because then the next level of support is going to be that trend line there. Okay, so for as long as Kijinson is above Tikinson on the 4-hour, there is a potential for a trend reversal. Okay, and it is a bigger flat, um, flat bottom triangle. You know, I'm talking about a range being there. Uh, irrespective, I think, you know, at the moment you're looking for a move to the upside and then you're looking to see what happens on these trend lines. If we get through these trend lines and we start bouncing around up here and move back down, you know, then what we're looking for is looking for it to find support on one of these trend lines. Okay, so that's a bit of a, a warning. The daily, you can see we have a flat Kijinson and we have a rolling Tikinson. Okay, so that is an indication that there is a pullback. Now, on Ichimoku, my pullback should be back to the cloud or even back to Kijinson. So there is a gap here. And these gaps are magnets at the moment, so, so you've got to keep them in, in mind at the moment. And when you look at the bigger picture over the last uh, couple of weeks, there is no direction here. So you need to trade this on a smaller, on a smaller time frame, you know, five, six, you know, 12 minute, whatever you want to do, 15 minute, but trade it accordingly. Okay. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, the four hour and the daily are giving us some warning that there is a pullback coming. Okay. Um, the other thing on the daily, if I just get rid of the noise, is what I could say as well is that there's a flag here. 
Okay, whether I do it that way or whether I do it that way, irrelevant. But there is a flag here, and there is a much bigger move which could play out like that. Okay, obviously it's going to take time to play out, but that's a 3,700 point move. Okay, so you've got to keep both scenarios in mind. And as it stands at the moment, I come back to this one, that's just like that, and we come to the hour. Okay. As it stands at the moment, you look at the lower time frames, there's nothing really here. This is indicating buying on the hour. So you know, I would watch this on the hour for my reversals because it's been pretty consistent at my buying points on the hour. If you look there, you look there, look at my oscillators. So every time I've hit bottom of range, I've had buying opportunities. I haven't quite hit the top except for that point there. So this to me is just telling me that there are buyers scaling in for a reason and there are buyers that are looking at this as a flag rather than a flat top triangle. Okay. Anyway, uh, so my view today is long, but take profit. Look for the top of the range. Look for those trend lines. That's where you take profit. Watch what price does after that. If it bounces back, find support on the moving averages. Get back in for your long. Um, tight stop losses until we get through that structure. We get through those trend line structures, you're going to have a position that you can hold the long side. Uh, converse is true if we sort of reverse and we get through this 51 to 70 area. Um, a break and a, a decent close on, on the hour before 51 to 70, that's going to indicate the move to the downside and that's going to open up these downside gaps here. Okay. Okay. But anyway, um, what we're looking for is a nice trend on the hour like it was going into Christmas. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking for at the moment. We don't have it. Uh, I don't care whether it's down or up, but we're looking for some kind of a trend that we can trade. With. Okay, so for me it's long. Uh, top of range out, and then wait and see what happens. If we get a pullback and some structure forming and the trend lines are reversing, pointing to the upside, trade with those trend lines, trade with the trend until you get a reversal. Okay. So anyway, guys, I uh, hope that helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.